One of my favorite mathematicians of all time is a man by the name of Leonard Euler. Leonard Euler lived from 1707 to 1783. So some context in case you're wondering where he was in light of other great thinkers. Leonard Euler was actually born right around the time when Isaac Newton was, in, I would say, finishing up his, uh, a lot of things that he had to do. Uh, Newton actually died in 1727. So Euler you know, was 20 years old when Newton died. Newton was born in 1642. He lived long, by the way. Newton did from 1642 to 1727. Um, Euler was born in 1707, lived till 1783. The other guy that is interesting is a guy by the name of Carl Frederick Gauss. Gauss actually lived from 1777. He lived 77 years, so you could do the math. Um, it's interesting because he was born in 1777 and he lived 77 years and he ended up being one of the greatest mathematicians of, of all time. That, that's just neat. The three people I just mentioned, by the way, if you look up, I don't know, in your free time, look up best mathematicians, you would notice Leonard Euler, Isaac Newton, Carl Frederick Gauss. Those are like top three almost all the time. Someone might call it a tie. We can talk about that debate later. Uh, I personally think Leonard Euler was the greatest um, in terms of uh, his, how much work he did, plus the fact that we can understand a lot of it. Even lay people can understand a lot of his stuff uh, Gauss was good. Don't get me wrong. I would put them at a tie, but Gauss was uh, on another level in certain fields, right? And Gauss was more of a prodigy, I would say. While Leonard Euler, he flourished at a young age, but he wasn't necessarily a prodigy from what I would, from what I noticed. He was a hard worker. By the way, Euler went blind, um, a lot, you know, as as he went through life, and he was still able to publish about fifty papers a year. He lost children you know he lost a lot of children he had 13 children a lot of them died at a young age euler was able to work hard through the difficulties of life so i, I just think leonard euler is one of the best of all time and so what i want to do in the next video or in, briefly in this video in the next video is to look at leonard euler's life and learn a few things well by the way just so you know why this guy is important over 90 things that we use in our general math teaching and so on 90 things like e is attributed to him, even though it was more his tutor that, that I would say was responsible for a lot of that. But the fact that they give the letter E symbol, right, the Euler, to Euler, tells you something about him. Euler was classmates with Daniel Bernoulli, by the way. Daniel Bernoulli, Bernoulli's principle, why do planes fly, how do planes fly, that discussion. And uh, so that just gives you, again, more context. The Bernoullis were a, a dynasty. When it comes to mathematics, those people were just exceptional. Now, they had family drama. Somebody should make a movie about them, uh, the Bernoulli family. But Leonard Euler, um, you know, did a lot. And one of the books he wrote is called The Elements of Algebra. I highly recommend it. We have it on our website, uh, in our courses that students take. It's free in some websites. There's PDFs for it. And he goes from the basics of mathematics. What is mathematics? And he works his way all the way to advanced things, and so on and so forth. He starts with, what is math, addition, subtraction. He talks about those things. I mean, this guy is one of the greatest ever, but he took time to establish the fundamentals. It's very important that we establish the fundamentals when we're dealing with issues of life. Fundamentals, very important. So join me as I talk about mathematicians, and we'll be looking at Leonard Euler. We'll be looking at a few other people. Um, Euler was uh, born in Switzerland. Uh, he lived, uh, you know, again, he... He, well, he, 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 I would say he was born in Switzerland, moved to Russia at some point, and then um, was involved, as I said, with people like the Bernoulli brothers. Now, Bernoulli was his, also, okay, so let's take a step back. Bernoulli's father, the one who I said Bernoulli's principal, his father was actually a tutor to Euler, okay? So you have, you have, uh, let, let's list a few Bernoullis. You have Johan Bernoulli, you have Jacob Bernoulli, you have Daniel Bernoulli, you have like Johan II, you have Jacob II. I mean, these guys were, it's like they, they treated math like a, a, think of exporting a product. You could export products with these Bernoulli people. They were so good at math. And one of the things you would learn about Euler and his approach is that he, again, established the fundamentals and then you build up on that from there. Um, Euler calculated um, problems that others could not do, uh, other mathematicians could not do. He would do it and people would write letters to him and he would write back to them and answer their questions. This guy was phenomenal. Uh, as I said, he was born April 15th of 1707. 
uh, when he when he was one, the family moved to Reichen or Reichen, a town near Basel in Switzerland, where his father became a pastor. His father taught him elementary mathematics as a child. Uh, he entered Euler entered the University of Basel or Basel at fourteen. <clears throat> Here's what's interesting: people were going to college at fourteen like it was no no problem at all. You know, going to college at fourteen was was not i mean for those who were exceptionally good now today we have some people who are 14 in college but i could tell you this that if you apply yourself if you get the right principles in place you can be in college at 14 and not struggling that that's not a problem and so i know some kids in texas have done this i know i've, I've worked with some students who graduated college at 18 or 19 so and and a lot of some of what they did was in a condensed fashion they tested out of a lot of courses and so we are capable of much more than we even know, right? And we're going to look at this more with Leonard Euler. We're going to look at this with Isaac Newton. We're going to look at this with Carl Frederick Gauss. Uh, again, he was more of a prodigy. Some of these people had challenges and they were able to overcome those challenges. So join me as I talk more about Leonard Euler, as I talk about these people, and just as I encourage you to flourish in your academic work. Thank you for listening. And um, I hope to do more videos like this. This is just the beginning. Thank you for your time and please remember you can subscribe to my education channel or to my channel where I talk about spiritual growth, uh, what is Christianity and how can we grow. And so there's, there's two separate channels. Um, I also spend time talking about character development and just being people of integrity, people of honesty and learning from our mistakes because we might have mistakes and how do we learn from them and move forward. Thank you for listening again and um, the links to the channels are below. Have a great day. And if you are interested in any of my courses, the ACT courses, don't hesitate to reach out as well. Thank you so much.